it's palpable out there, isn't it, with the economy? You know, so many of my friends, and, and I'm not into it either, right? Uh, we had the, the big stock market crash back in 09. The banks were, you know, doing things with loans, and whoosh, the economy just dropped down. Now we're seeing a recovery, but some industries, as we well know, haven't recovered as quickly. And it's funny what we do. We tie our happiness to what? We tie it to our net worth. So, or we tie it to our career, or we tie it to some external factor. And I think that's misguided, right? Because I'm not my career, I'm not my net worth. What, so uh, I'm, I'm worth X amount and uh, Wall Street goes to zero, the dollar collapses, and what? So I have a zero net worth so that I have no value as a human being? I mean, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Mother Teresa, right? She wasn't a woman. Does she have no value? Gandhi, no value. Jesus, no value to human being. Right? Perhaps you have greater value when you detach from the materialism. And, you know, I like nice things, but it's just that simple shift that I haven't, I haven't made my identity attached to, to these things. And, and we can do this. Um, it's, and it's just that simple, it's that simple act of, of disconnecting or turning down the negativity and, and really looking for positive influences that are out there. It's amazing. I mean, you know, I talked about some of the books, uh, some of the music. You know, I, the first time I listened to Mozart, I think I was 30 years old. You know, I was a rock and roller growing up and, and uh, the Rolling Stones and the Beatles and and Led Zeppelin and all those guys. So, I didn't know, like a lot of kids, like, they don't, the rap, you know, the Jay-Z and these guys now, uh, they, don't know, they don't know what Mozart is or Beethoven, but the first time I listened to it, I think I was 30-some years old, and I said, wow, that was the most beautiful music I ever heard. The most beautiful music I ever heard. And my friend Dave here is an artist. He's an art uh, educator. He could tell me about all these wonderful paintings. I know when I saw Picasso uh, for the first time, Wow, that is incredible. Van Gogh he went to the Barnes Museum. Barnes Museum, saw Cezanne. I'm like, I know nothing about art, but I knew that was high energy, right? That was beauty, and I was touched by it. And these are the things that we want to do in our lives. In our lives, we want to look for these positive things. Let them wash over us. Let them strengthen us, fortify us. Because as sure as we're talking tonight. You'll see the influence in your life. And when they start, when you start writing your things down, you may say, hey, listen, I want to make a hundred thousand dollars. I want to be, I want to be financially independent. I want to have, I want to run a marathon, right? I want to be at a certain uh, weight, right? I want to, all these different goals. I want to repair the relationship with my children or my spouse or whatever. Write them down. The simple act of writing them down brings them into your consciousness. Now, when we do that, when we do that, don't focus on the how. Right? That's what we do. We, we, we put all these roadblocks in front of ourselves. Well, I want to start this business. I want to be a millionaire. Huh? And we say, oh, well, I can't. How am I going to do that? I don't have the money. I don't have the time. I don't have the resources. I don't have the skills. Don't do that. Put it, write it down. If you have an inkling that it's something we're going to do, it may be a talent of yours, and your friends will tell you, wow, you're really good at that. You're a great artist, right? You're a great investor. You're a great cook. My lovely wife back there. Honey, you're a great cook. Uh, and, right, tap in. That's your first clue. As you can tell, I like to talk. <laughs> so, and I like to, I like to encourage people. Uh, I like to coach. I've been coaching um, youth sports for 30 years. I love watching, putting a team together and watching the team do the best they can. I don't necessarily care if we win. I want to see the boys play, enjoy the game, and do their best. Right? John Wooden said, uh, the great coach Wooden, does anyone here know the great coach Wooden? Yes. John Wooden won 10 national championships at UCLA. The best coach really ever to coach sports. 10 national championships at UCLA. And he said, our championships were won at 
practice. He, he would never focused on winning. He focused on getting the best from the boys, the young men, the team. And that's really what we want from ourselves, right? We just want our best. And what is our best, right? We're only here for a short while. It's a brief dance, right? And we might as well go out and do the things we love to do, right? We all have a passion, uh, something that we love to do, we enjoy to do, and we should try and do it. We should try and do it. Now, a lot of us say, well, Tom, you know, how do you do that? How do you connect the dots, right? I love, I've always loved investing. I love being an entrepreneur. I love, from the early days, I love the stock market, stock market. And whew, that has been a roller coaster ride. I've been up and down, up and down, up and down. But what I did, I put my hook in the water, right? I tried. I just didn't say, well, I'm not gonna try this. I, I tried it and I did it. The power is in the doing. Ralph Waldo Emerson, right? Just do the thing and it will give you power, right? I tell that to my friend David. Uh, painters paint. Writers write, right? Musicians play, right? And whatever, you know, chefs cook. And what happens when you tap into that, right? Really, you're tapping into your joy. So it's something that you're good at. It's something you have an affinity for. And it's something that you should share. And typically those people that do that, they're the ones to find the tremendous success, right? The Steve Jobs, right? He dropped out of college. He started the computer out of his garage with Steve Wozniak, right? Bill Gates and uh, these Bruce Springsteen, right? These, mm -hmm. these musicians, these artists, right? They did what they loved. It started with that passion, that love, and right, the success somehow found them. And even if you don't become the next Bruce, Bruce Springsteen, Picasso, Mozart, right? Guess what you'll find? your joy will increase, right? Your happiness will increase. Uh, I'm here doing this. I don't know if I'm going to make millions. Maybe I will. But, uh, but I love talking to people about you know, positive thinking, about perhaps a better or more inspired way to live.